Hi and welcome to day two of our devotions for our 21 days of prayer and fasting where we're thinking about tuning in to Jesus. Uh, yesterday Ian kicked us off by thinking about uh, who can hear from God and he answered all of us. Uh, we are uh, the good shepherd's sheep and the sheep uh, can hear his voice. And so the question I want to ask today is over these 21 days, are we desiring God's voice? You just think about it, when you desire to hear someone's voice or long for, maybe as a, a different phrase we would use, I long to hear their voice and I sometimes long to hear my nieces and nephews' voices and uh, every day or just if they've been away or whatever, but to hear their voice, I desire it, I long for it because I want to hear what they have to say but also it, se- it speaks to my heart about the relationship we have and so I think that about our, when we long to hear God's voice Uh, that we're not just seeking God's voice or longing to hear him because we want an answer on, oh God, should I do this or should I do that? But actually we long and desire to hear his voice because of our relationship with him, because he is our shepherd and we are his sheep. And um, so I just want to think about, do we desire to hear God's voice, not just for direction, but to grow our relationship with him? And some of us maybe say, I don't really hear from God very often. I don't know if I'm someone who can. And I want to say over this 21 days, let's expect to hear God's voice. I just want to remind us of 1 Samuel 3 verse 10, our verse for today. 1 Samuel 3 verse 10 it says, The Lord came and stood there, calling as at all the other times, Samuel, Samuel. And then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. And that comes from a story where God had repeatedly called Samuel in a night, calling Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel didn't know who was speaking, so he got up and he went to Eli in the other room and to the priest and said, were you calling me? And he said, no, go back to bed. And eventually they got hold of it and they realised and recognised it was God calling Samuel. And they hadn't, it says earlier in 1 Samuel, that the voice of the Lord was rare in those days. They hadn't uh, been expecting to hear from God. And uh, so it took them a while to tune in to who it was. And I think that for us over these 21 days, let's expect to hear from God. Let's just, let's desire to hear from him. Uh, yes, for direction and all those sorts of things, but for our relationship with him. Let's desire to hear from God, but also let's expect to hear from God. That when he's calling us, when he, his voice speaks, uh, we recognise it and we don't take our time like Samuel and Eli. Uh, so let me just read that again. The Lord came and stood there, calling as at the other time, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, speak for your servant is listening. And that's my prayer for us over these 21 days, that we would desire to hear God's voice and we would expect to hear it, we'd listen out for it. You know, sometimes when we're used to hearing a a sound, uh, we'll hear it. I hear a dog barking from miles away because I'm used to hearing the bark of a dog. Uh, But let's listen out for God, let's tune in uh, to what God's got to say to us. So Father, I pray uh, that for these 21 days that we would desire, we would long to hear your voice. And that we would be expectant today, this very day, that we would expect to hear your voice as we still our hearts and tune in and listen for you. Amen. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.